uh, this is stop number seven of my uh, solo tour across America. I uh, started in Montreal and um, I made my way down to New York, the capital, and going all the way south to uh, New Orleans and then all the way west to California and then all the way back up again. So um, I'm going to start uh, this program here with a piece uh, by Michael Osterley, who's a Canadian composer. It's called Studio. And uh, it was written in 2000. And uh, this piece is about confined spaces. And uh, what I think about when I play it is a giant uh, machine that takes up an entire warehouse. You know, it's just an enormous uh, machine. And from the outside, you can only see these basic functions of it. And then once you zoom in on it, you can see all these little details and all these little tiny things doing intricate, uh, you know, work. And, uh, and then you kind of zoom back out again and it finds you back where you started. Studio. Thank you. 
this is a, uh, a Turkish piece that a friend of mine wrote. It's from Istanbul. And uh, I told her I was doing this tour, and uh, I was playing a lot of 20th and 21st century music. And I told her I wanted her to write something for me. And then, little did I know, uh, she really wrote it about this tour and stuff. And so it's called Quilt and Dawn, and the first movement is a patchwork quilt of American scenes, and there's this kind of perpetual motion notes that weave it all together. And then through it emerge these different sort of pastoral scenes that you can hear. You can hear like a little dance and some jazz somewhere. And uh, and then the second movement is called Dawn. And uh, the both of us did our, uh, we used to go to school in Winnipeg, which is uh, above North Dakota, and it's in the prairies. And uh, she wrote Dawn about Dawn on the prairies, but Dawn in a time where there's no cars and no buildings. And you can just see everything. You're just overwhelmed by the vastness of it. And it's just a song to the morning there. Well done. Mm -hmm.
Staples of the repertoire, they're really great. And, uh, you know, before Bach's time and kind of the composers around him, the cello was really just played the bass and didn't play the melodies and stuff, and that was just reserved for violins and flutes and other high pitched instruments. And so these were some of the first um, suites written by, you know, Bach for this instrument when it was kind of invented and stuff and brought out of this just bass role. <laughs> six short movements, so I'll play a selection of them. And, uh, I'll do like it. Really. Thank you. 
Thank you. 
Thank you. 